All right, the doctor is in this morning. Time now is 749. A lot of people talking about weight loss drugs and hearing the different ones. Ozempic may be one that comes to mind for you. You probably have seen those commercials. Uh, that is not approved by the FDA. We want to talk about some that are as well as Ozempic. And I've got Dr. Joe Tusan who with me this morning from Sharp Breeze Steely. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so let's talk about the different options there are, the classifications and what that all means. So there's uh, a group of medications called the GLP-1 agonists, and so that entails Wegovi, Ozempic, uh, Mojero, and uh, the new one, Zepbound. And they are originally approved for diabetes, mm -hmm. uh, but now we found that they have a significant uh, influence on weight loss as well. So talk about which ones are specifically approved by the FDA, because I think you mentioned to me earlier that Ozempic is not, or it, no, that one is. No, that one's not, Wegovi is the one that is. Wigovi. So Ozempic was, uh, it's semaglutide, which is FDA approved for diabetes. Mm -hmm. Whereas Wigovi is also semaglutide, which is FDA approved for weight loss. Okay. And so when people ask for Ozempic for weight loss, it may not be approved by their insurance companies because it's FDA approved for diabetes. What are your thoughts on using these medications as weight loss? And what are the side effects, the risks of taking them? So the studies have shown dramatic improvement in weight loss. And I think every, every patient should go to their doctor, consult with them to see what's the best treatment option for them. Come up with a plan for weight loss and overall health and see if this is one good treatment option for them. But really talk about you know, the ins and outs, the risks and benefits, because there are some side effects, including nausea, diarrhea, constipation, uh, pancreatitis, and also some studies have found an increased risk of thyroid cancer. So it's really important to talk about the ins and outs with your physician. Okay, some of these medications used for diabetes and now with them flying off the shelves for weight loss, how is this impacting patients with diabetes that actually need these medications to survive? Unfortunately, we're seeing uh, these medications flying off the shelf and some diabetic patients are unable to get them for a week or two. And so we have to compensate with changing their medications around. So it's really caused a strain, not only financially, but also medically on the medical system in treating these patients. Okay, so these medications being labeled for diabetes and obviously flying off the shelves, we have new meds on the horizon that may help this shortage a little bit. What are some of the newer meds? So there, and these are all in clinical trials right now, mm -hmm. but there are some other medications out there that are a little different that may have better effect on patients' diabetic levels and also be cheaper to produce. And so this is the big, big thing that we're hoping that it's gonna help the financial strain of the medical system because a lot of these GLP-1s are very expensive. And so with these newer medications, we'll hopefully be able to get some uh, robust competition and, and provide some uh, cheaper alternatives. For somebody that may be watching and feel they need to lose weight, what are some of the questions they should come prepared to ask their doctor? when discussing these types of medications? First off, what's your goal? You know, what's your health goal? And come up with a good treatment plan with your physician in reaching that goal. And if you have options available for you, take all the options, including lifestyle changes. And if this is also a good option for you and it's not contraindicated by your past medical history, then move forward with them. Is it a medication that you have to stay on consistently to keep the weight off, or is it something that you just take initially to get to the weight you desire and then you're able to wean off? What we're seeing right now is people who are on the medication need to stay on it because we are seeing a weight gain in a significant population. Okay. So long-term studies in terms of long-term side effects yeah. we're, are still ongoing because these medications have been expanded to the population relatively recently and so we're gonna to wait to see what the side effects are long-term. Okay, doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning and giving us a little insight on one of these hot button topics right now. Thank you. Appreciate it, have a good rest of your day. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. Stay with us, we'll be right back.